Our legal counsel, Charlie O'Hara, back in the studio with us this Wednesday morning. 436-1212 is the number to call if you would like some free legal advice. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Good to have you back in here. Nice to be here. A little warm today. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> that suit's going to get pretty hot if I you're know. outside. <laughs> okay, we're going to check in with our viewers online who have a phone call for us. Good morning. What's your question for Charlie? Is that me? That's you. Go right ahead. <laughs> okay, hi. Uh, how do you dissolve the power of attorney? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You just have to cancel it. I mean, a power of attorney is just something you sign to give uh, somebody else the ability to do some of your personal things for you and uh, uh, in your stead, in, in other words, to act for you. And if you uh, don't want them to do that, you revoke that power of attorney. Now, anybody that has that power of attorney, obviously, you'd have to notify them in writing somehow with the fact that you don't want that power of attorney to be any good or make sure you call ahead and say, I don't want that power of attorney to work. Uh, you don't want somebody to abuse it, but all, really all you have to do is cancel it. Okay, and that's not something where you've got to cancel it and find someone else. You can just cancel it if you'd like. That's right. Okay, Correct. thank you, Charlie. Good question. Okay, we're going to head back to the phones. We have another caller on the line. Good morning. What's your question for Charlie? Yeah, I am going through guardianship papers with my grandbaby, and I... Are you there? And, um... I want to know if legally I have to take my grandbaby to Newton to the other grandparents and take her overnight. Okay, well, uh, grandparents' rights are, are something that's, that's actually being expanded, I think, by the legislature. There's a lot of discussion about that. The grandparents do have some rights. If you are actually going to have custody of your child, I don't know what exactly you mean by guardianship, but, but if you're going to have custody of your, your grandchild, uh, then the other grandparents can come in and ask for certain rights. They're pretty limited. Uh, if it's something that's just being arranged between you and the, the, the parents of the child and they're signing guardianship papers over to you, then they're going to have to be arranged between the, the actual parents, I would think, and you would have a say in that. The grandparents just don't automatically get to demand that you drive the child somewhere on a certain date. It has to be an agreed thing. If it's not agreed to, then you're going to have to go to court and get it settled. Uh, it's something that sounds like it's getting a little bit involved, so you might want to get hold of an attorney to, to get some advice on the uh, correct way to proceed. Especially when you're getting guardianship and all that going on with children, uh, it, it's, it's worth the time probably to get a hold of a, a domestic attorney and at least get some advice on how to do that right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead. We have time for one more caller. Good morning. What's your question for Charlie today? Uh, yes. I was injured at the YMCA downtown. November 23rd, 2011, 10.30 in the morning, a drunk guy knocked me down on my face. It was down by, it was right at their property. They did not contact the police department or the sheriff, and they allowed the guy to stay in the place. What can I do about that? Well, I, I don't exactly know what you want to do. I would assume there's some liability on the a YMCA's part if they have some drunk person there pushing people down and hurting right. them. I mean, I don't mean for it to be funny, but it sounds terrible. Hope you weren't hurt very bad, but if you were, you could sue the YMCA. I think there's some duties. If the person actually intentionally hurts you, you could turn them in for some form of battery or assault for hurting you and pushing you down uh, under those circumstances, and you can go to the city uh, and turn them in uh, with a criminal complaint. Uh, I, I don't really know what you want to do, but you could, you should contact the YMCA and see if there's a you. You know, they could pay you for the damages. If they don't, you need to get hold of an attorney. Okay. Thank okay. you, Charlie. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. And thank you, folks, for calling in today. Charlie will be back here again next week answering your questions. Have a good week, Charlie. Thanks. Stay cool. Okay, I'll try.